What's in store for my future? I'm not sure at this point. Right now, I just know that I have a relatively well-built bridge, and I'd continually improve it so that my future doesn't collapse from underneath me. I haven't taken the chance of crossing that bridge, just in fears that I might not like the other side. Everything I see in life has just been so temporary. I didn't like a spot I was standing in, well, move to a different spot. Whether that be the lack of many long-term relationships in my life, or just choosing an outlet to be happy. For God's sakes, I'm only 22 and this sinking sensation of entrapment is already closing in on me. So why the hell do I want to cross the bridge and commit to the other side? What if I'm missing out on the good where I am now? I can't possibly understand and perceive the benefits of the other side until I cross it, I guess. Well, why am I trying to fix it? If I'm so afraid of crossing it, then why not just be content with what I have now? It's a good question, other side of my brain. I can tell you I know I have to cross it one day, but when is that day? Could it be in the next few years when I buy a house and start paying a ugh, mortgage? Or when I get into business school and hopes to getting my master's? Which one is the right choice? I don't know, but I know people like to weigh in and give me their 10 cents. Definitely more than I would allow at a moment's notice. Just because you've lived a life doesn't mean you know what's best for me. Ugh, that statement. I don't like it. I'm not sure that it's just because it sounds so cliche, or what, but it's true and false at the same time. Something you would never hear in a public education system. That's the stick, though, isn't it? How can we verify what truly matters in life? How do we know what choice is the right one, and we haven't just made a terrible mistake? It helps to write things down. I think what makes things worse for me is that I know I don't have a safety net. The invisible presence that reassured me that everything is going to be okay. Well, I, I guess I have something sort of like that, but the stakes were a lot higher. Let's take a walk down memory lane. Oh, the times of no responsibility where the youth say screw authority because they were never punished as a child, where if you didn't know something, you faked it till you could look it up later. Anyways, I think at this point in time, I was just able to loaf around and not do much because there was no real pressures to do anything. Just don't die and don't drop out of school. That's it. Is that why I'm so scared of just walking across this bridge? Because I don't know what it's like to actually fail to a point of no return. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have failed before. Academics, social groups, responsibility. I don't think I will ever be afraid of failure. But what I think I'm afraid of is failure in which you can never get back to your former self. Losing my job and not being able to pay rent. Falling in love with the wrong woman. Making a bad investment that puts me into debt. Not getting a job after getting my MBA. The list goes on and on about how just one wrong move could end it all. So that's why I'm hesitant to cross the bridge. The same mentality of being mortified by the unknown. It's safe here, but I know my time on this side is about to expire. I see my parents, older family friends, co-workers, all enjoying the other side. They don't seem like they're in too much pain. The sun is shining, it's a cool breeze on that side. So, how can I prepare myself for the next stage in my life? I'm not 100% on it, but I have a feeling it comes from just not caring as much. Not to say you shouldn't just be complacent with life and just apathetic to anything that happens to you. Obviously, take everything in your life into consideration when making decisions and reacting to what life throws at you. But maybe don't hold on to everything so tightly. My boss once told me, Hey, you've all. Here's an interesting thought. If you want to move forward and be successful in life, don't hold on to the failures and successes. Seems like pretty good advice. Or is it? Well, for one, if I don't hold on to the failures in my life, I think I could sustain a relationship and grow emotionally. If I don't hold on to the failures in my life, I could have more confidence when taking my GMAT test in the next couple of weeks. If I don't hold on to the failures in life, I could realize that I'm just a human being 
and not lay on the floor for hours when something horrible happens to me. But what about my successes? I understand that you don't want your successes in life to be the only thing that defines you, but isn't that what propels me to the next chapter? If I didn't achieve A and B, then how am I going to get to C? Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe that's the wrong mindset to have. Shouldn't I have the expectation that there's always another way? If I want something in life, just because door number one is locked doesn't mean I can't get through. Maybe there's a window. Maybe I can kick the door down. Probably not that one, but still, you get the idea. So maybe if you don't regard your success as a pathway, then you're more likely to find an alternate solution to what you want without just the past fogging your view. Makes sense to me. I just need a push. All in all, I don't think I'll have hardships in life moving forward. I don't expect myself to fall on hard times and shame myself into poverty. But I guess all the pressure is in my head? Is it good to have this pressure? Next time. For now, I'm tired.